hello viewers welcome back to machine our channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome today we're going to be talking about irrigation farming as a source of income you know most of the time people engage in farming fruits and vegetables as irrigated products in order to do what in order to make some money people also cultivate grains that may grow after a few months like three four five months during the dry season by doing what by sourcing for water and irrigating or watering their farmlands so they will cultivate they will do what they will plant and they will water the farm until it is time for harvest they will take care of the plants then harvest and do what and either consume it or sell it so you see guys if you have a farm all right and you have a water source around the farm or you can create a water source then irrigation farming can serve as a source of income all right don't just sit there and believe that you being in a farming village or you being in a big house that has some land that you can have your own garden at the back of the house that it cannot serve as a source of income you can either grow these crops throughout the year and consume it or you do what or you may sell all right so i'm going to be showing you a lot of things i have seen people do in form of irrigation farming all right guys as you can see this uh, farmland this uh, chili pepper and scotchy bonnet pepper all right so you see this is the importance of irrigation farming usually when you cultivate things like this you may use it to do what to make some money with these crops or you may also use it anytime you want to you may cultivate something like this and you do what you sell after harvesting or you may dry and preserve it you may also convert it to powder it's a source of spice in the food is a spice all right so you'll be able to convert this to powder and you'll be able to use it so you see you may do what cultivate crops like this not only during the rainy season but even during the dry season and use it as a source of income so supposing that you cultivate something like this and you do what you cultivate it and you sell during the rainy season during the dry season you may cultivate it to have a source of food if you cultivate it during the rainy season and you kept it for your own personal consumption during the dry season don't just sit at home and believe that you can only farm during the rainy season all right you can also cultivate things like cocoa yam you can see cocoa yam farm here so you may cultivate a crop like cocoa yam cocoa yam is a tuber all right so you cultivate cocoa yam and you do what you cultivate cocoa yam and you'll be able to sell it or you consume it some people also convert cocoa yam to powder and they use it to thicken their soup some use it to make smoothies some use it to make a whole lot of things. Some people even use cocoa yam to make swalu. In some parts of Africa, just the way you we we convert yam to pounded yam to swalu, you can convert cocoa yam to swalu. You can also cook it and enjoy it with sauce, with beautiful sauce. All right, so you can see. This is a beautiful farmland. You don't have to wait until during rainy season to cultivate things like this. And you see, we have also lots and lots of herbs. You can see we have uh, what we call the king rice. The king rice is right here. So you see, even, even the wheat that grows around the farmland you cultivate also has its own 
importance if you're dealing with the issue of infertility all right lost sperm count and so on and so forth this king grace can help to solve that kind of problem so when you have when you see wheat around your farm they try to understand what they are used for then you do what you can harvest them then dry them then after drying you can use it at your own convenience all right so this is a very beautiful farming village this place is called Kual. Kual is right in basa local government where you find the rigwe speaking people rigwe is the language rigwe is also a chiefdom all right so we have the rigwe chiefdom in basa local government all right we have three chiefdoms the pengana the rukuba and the rigwe or rigwe chiefdom so this place is called rigwe and this is Kuala in rigwe you know my people farm a lot during the raining season and during the dry season they have skills they also do businesses you may spend some weeks farming then you do what you also have a lot of things you're doing maybe you're going to school maybe you're teaching maybe you're doing what maybe you're running a business or you're acquiring a skill some of them may come to the farm and water these crops that you see these crops are usually cultivated during the dry season so during the dry season they do what they cultivate it and they sell it they may come in the morning and water their crop after watering their crop they do what they go back and go to their schools they may wake up very early or they go to their skill acquisition or even to run their businesses so the farmland is now a source of food and a source of an extra income or it may even be a source of their main income you may see some 15 year olds buying bikes power bikes you know cars and so on and so forth because of what irrigation farming so you see that irrigation farming is very very important when you cultivate your crops uh, during dry season it's called irrigation farming all right all right guys you can see this is beautiful cabbage plants you can see this plants is like everywhere you go around this locality you will find crops and vegetables vegetables like cabbage broccoli you know you you will find broccoli being cultivated around here you will find cauliflower you will find cabbage you will find cucumber you will find beetroot you will find carrots you will find lead you will find parsley you will find celery you will find a whole lot of vegetables you know they cultivate these vegetables during the rainy and dry season so during the dry season what they practice is now irrigation farming because you don't have rain coming from the sky you know like rainfall you will be the one to provide the water and to do what and to water the farm so i was kind of suggesting that they can initiate simple mechanized farming by just doing what by just getting a, a water source just get a tank and place it at, at the top of a tank overhead and place the tank and they may use uh they may use a pumping machine or pressure machine to pump water from the source of water to fill the tank then they may connect a pipe and you know use some form of mechanized farming to cover that has holes in it so that they will be able to spray this water you go to places like israel and you find such uh technology they use different technologies where they just put on the water once they put on the water it will water the farm without you lifting anything at all until it is time to either weed the crop or do what or harvest it you can see all this you're seeing is beautiful cabbage plants you also find some corn you know corn plants you see bananas all around so you get bananas from the stream area these people cultivate it so when the banana is ripe 
they just simply go and do what and harvest it so you see a lot of banana around here guys so you see all over the farmlands you see bananas you go to the houses you see bananas you see oranges guava you see a lot of herbs right guys so you see uh this is one thing you do for yourself in order to do what one thing you do in order to have cheap life in what we mean by cheap life doesn't mean healthy life cheap meaning that you don't spend much but you have a beautiful life and so this is very beautiful life this is what you do to have a beautiful life all right so guys as you can see this is chili pepper and this farm was around the ancha area of Niango all in Basa and Rigui chiefdom all right so as you can see this is also watercress or water leaf then you can see some beautiful bitter leaf that somebody cultivated this in our own house with the banana then we use this whenever we want so subscribe to Machine Art channel for more uploads. Thank you.